This is pretty much the worst video ever made. Wish I was a little bit taller, y'all. Wish I was a little bit taller, y'all. Yeah, I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good, I would call her. Wish I had a rabbit in a hat with a bat and a six form parlor. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good, I would call her. Wish I had a rabbit in a hat with a bat and a six form parlor. I was like six foot nine, so I can get with Leoshi, cause she don't know me, but yo, she's really fine. You know, I see her all the time, everywhere I go, even in my dreams, I got scheme of ways to make her mine. Cause I know she's living fat, her boyfriend's tall and he plays ball, so how am I gonna compete with that? Cause when it comes to playing basketball, I'm always last to be picked, and in some cases, never picked at all. So I just lean up on the wall, or sit up in the bleachers with the rest of the girls who came to watch they man ball. Tag y'all, I never understood black, while the jocks get the black girls, and me, I get the hood rats. I tell them scats, get the bobble, got hit with a bottle, put in the hospital for talking that mess. I've been a city that's the size of a box and nobody knows your name Glad I came to my senses like a quick got sick, sick to my stomach Overcome my thoughts of me and her together, right? So when I asked out, she said I wasn't a type I wish I was a little bit taller, I wish I was a baller I wish I had a girl who looked good, I would Have it in a hat with a bat and a six one parlor Just going over to the um, famous dock side to see if there's any unprotected networks over there. showing at the minute that we've got loads of wireless networks but they're all clever enough to have them protected. Using NetStumbler version 0 0.4.0 .0, we were able to drive around in residential and business built up areas to search for access points or otherwise known as an AP for short. Starting off in a residential area at the side of the road, and as soon as opening NetStumbler, you can see we picked up a wireless AP. This one is using a WEP encryption, and WEP is standing for Wired Equivalent Privacy. Uh, we can pick up its SSID, it stands for Service Set Identifier, which basically means network name. We have four access points. There are two with padlocks, which mean they are using encrypted um, wireless, and there are two which are unlocked, which means they are t unencrypted. As you can see, we've located some unencrypted access points, and I'm now going to try and access their network and use their internet only. You could, if you are being a malicious user, probably go much further than this, using other programs that are out there even things as simple as Etheril could capture some very interesting information leaving an opportunity for the attacker to do anything after finding these unencrypted networks I can use my software that came with the wireless device on my laptop to try and connect to 
these unencrypted networks. I know the SSID of the networks which are unencrypted so I can scan the networks available and then select the network which I would like to try and connect to. As you can see I was successful in, in connecting to one of the wireless networks and using their internet. You can now see what happens in a residential area What we're going to show you here is how to connect to normal Wi-Fi hotspots. These can be found throughout the UK and all over the world. These enable you to connect to the internet using your wireless device, whether that be a laptop, PDA or other such devices, and you'll be able to browse the internet for a small fee. Uh, normally what you'd have to do is to find the network and then you'd be asked to log in and it may even possibly ask you for a connection key just to make sure that you have actually got the correct access privileges this being the case then you should be able to connect to the internet and use it for as long as you like You can see now we have connected to the Wi-Fi hotspot page. You will be able to pay up using your credit card and browse the internet. We can now show you with the use of some images from Packet Tracer of how easy it would be to capture the packets that are running through a wireless network. In the above example you will see the packet moving from one PC, this is just a ping packet, to the other PC and the idea is that it will show that once the packet reaches the access point the packet gets copied to all routes on the access point, in which case anything connected to your network will be able to capture the packet if they have got the appropriate programs and be able to get private information that they may be after